Hey guys, this is Sam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable application names in iFile. This is something that I've been wondering for a ton and ton of time. I actually looked it up on Google and it was really simple but I didn't see a video form for it so I thought why not make a quick tutorial. Why you would want to view application names is because if you go into iFile and navigate to var, mobile, containers, bundle, application, you're going to see once you're in the application folder finally all of these different apps installed on your device, meaning these are apps that you've downloaded from the App Store or through iTunes. These are not going to be apps like Stocks, uh, the App Store app itself, Settings. These are going to once again be things that you downloaded from the App Store. And if you want to modify some of the contents of any of these apps or maybe theme them or view the bundle IDs, if whatever you want to do with these apps, it's going to be incredibly hard to do because you don't know what apps you're going to be looking at. For example, if I just tap on one, it could be Facebook, it could be Twitter, it could be Google+, Plus, it could be any of the apps I have installed on my phone. So here's how you enable application names to easily sort through all of your apps via iFile. And it's actually a ton simpler than I thought it would be. All you have to do is navigate to the gear in the bottom left corner of your screen. Once you've tapped on that right under language, tap on file manager and from here, under the use traps switch or use trash switch, just go ahead and flip the switch for application names. Tap on done in the top right corner and voila, there you can see 1Password, AdSense, Airport, Alien Blue, every single one of the apps from the App Store that I have installed on my device now has an application name and sorting through them is probably 2 million times easier than before. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more content similar to this video. I cover tips, tricks, Cydia tweaks, jailbreaks, iOS updates, a lot of stuff related to the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So if you're interested in that kind of content, feel free to subscribe and I would really appreciate it. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS and I'll catch you guys in the next one.